so much. I hope you have a special day, okay? You'll be you'll be back with brother soon, okay? And I want extra hugs and cuffs and kisses when I get home. Okay. Hello everyone, good morning. Happy terrifying infusion day. This is a nice this is my new birthday sweatsuit. From Kyle. <laughs> oh, you like? I like our palette. Our vibe. Our vibe. Very clean. I like it. I do too. Yeah, Infusion Day. This is, Kyle got it for me. Because you guys know I wanted a cute one for Infusion. I want to dress cozy for these Infusions because they terrify me. So, Chemo Cute turned into Chemo Cozy. Even though it's not chemo. How about targeted therapy <laughs> tough? <laughs> there it is. Targeted therapy tough. Um, I still have my weird voice. Kyle might take over more <laughs> of it. We'll see. So, as you guys know, when I started chemo, the cord always pushes it. It doesn't want to focus on me. It's like... No. Go to the... I keep turning it. It always <laughs> goes mainly to me. Um, I started treatment over two years ago, and <coughs> I have always been terrified of infusions. I started with chemo, and when I would get the chemo, every time I would go, I would think, this could be it. This could be the infusion that kills me. I could have a bad reaction. Or, because it's, you know, a dangerous thing, would you say? Yeah, every time. And so, I had a big talk with my team that year, that year, excuse me, and they made me feel so much better. So since then, I'm less afraid of infusions, still afraid of them, but less afraid. Now, this infusion, I would say I'm the most scared I've ever been, because I had two bad reactions to it last time. And now, this time we're gonna do it in a different way to where hopefully that doesn't happen. But trying again for the one that my body didn't like scares the life out of me, so. Yeah, and I'm obviously petrified because I cried to you last night. <laughs> yeah, he had a big <laughs> breakdown. I had a nice little breakdown. And I've cried twice this morning just dropping off our children when yeah. normally it's just, goodbye, I love you, have a good day. I said... I'm a wreck. I said, honey, what's going on with you last night? And he said, I wish I could just talk to my therapist right now. Like, right now. I said, well, what is your ther what would you say to your therapist? And he said that I'm afraid you're going to die tomorrow. And it was really sad, and he cried. Look, I'm going to cry again. And <laughs> I talked him through it. I'm obviously afraid of that too. <laughs> you're talking me through it and you're the one going into That's okay. it. Yeah. That's partnership. Yeah, today's really scary. <clears throat> There's always that chance, but this one just seems like a doozy with the infusion in it. I told Kyle if that were to happen, worst case scenario were to happen today, then it's meant to be that way. Yeah. But I don't I truly don't think it's gonna happen. <clears throat> I am afraid it's going to happen, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, I gave the kids extra big hugs this morning. It's <laughs> cute. And I appreciate them more than I ever could this morning. Appreciated them more than I ever could this morning. I feel like this is one of those things 
where if I make it home today, it's kind of a new lease on life. <laughs> yeah, I feel that way too. New lease on life. Where I feel like if I go home today, I'm overcoming death in a way. <laughs> I'm escaping death. I don't know how to explain it. I feel it too. I don't know. You know, some may say we're being like over dramatic, dramatic but yeah. I wasn't there when you were having these reactions. It's really scary. But I know Ash, your sister was, and the look in her face, the look in your face, it just doesn't sound good, and it's scary. And we both read up on the side effects a little more than, oops, sorry, a little more than usual because of your reaction last time and all the stuff you've been going through. So it just has a, a little bit scary revive today. But I know we can do it. So I do feel like if we get through, we're both going to feel like we've overcome a big I think it'll hump. help. I think it'll help. We see who's texting you. Yes. Yeah, I think it'll help with my mental health <clears throat> because... It's your dad. I will <laughs> feel what? She got donuts. <laughs> Nobody knows how. <laughs> She's so happy. Anyways, being in, put in a situation where I feel like I could die today if I make it out alive. Sorry for sounding so dramatic. I'm just going to be so happy and so grateful. You know how they say <clears throat> you couldn't be happy without being sad or you wouldn't feel true happiness yeah. without true sadness. I don't know. It all complements each other. And today's super sad, scared, all those feelings... If I can overcome it, I'm going to feel so good, much better. Yeah, mentally. Afterwards, I think. <clears throat> we'll see. I don't know if it's just me, but I almost feel like even if it doesn't go well, let's just say it does not. Like and can I die? Not in not the die. Just it doesn't go well and, and they this say, is not the this dream. is it. At least we'll know that chapter's closed. Yeah, if that happens, that's fine. I would feel okay there too. I feel like, you know, we're meant to figure out the plan. No one knows what it is. Right. We would be doing it right away if we knew what it was. But if this, if today says, no, like, you're alive, but no, this is <laughs> not the next treatment, I'm totally fine with that because I trust that it wasn't meant to be. Yeah. And if today's successful, then we'll do tomorrow's infusion. Yep. And then we hope that this is the treatment. Yep. I think we'll have a way different perspective tomorrow if we get through this one. Yeah. No matter what. This is the scariest one yeah. for me. But we'll see. But tomorrow's infusion is a bigger dose, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> how, how do bodies do this? How does a body get through this? Bodies I don't are, understand. Bodies are strong. I don't understand <clears throat> it. But, good thing we checked last night because... Um, we were caught up in all the birthday activities and they um, changed her times a little bit to be earlier so that her doctors could be available while she's getting the infusion today. So that is good that we're going to have them in the background. And That makes me feel safer. Me too. So if anything happens, they're right there. Plus the amazing nurses that are already right there with you. So yeah. let's, just, let's just do it, dude. <laughs> let's just go do it. I don't think, I do, it's hard to talk. <clears throat> I don't think this is the end. No. But if it is, I love you all. And I really appreciate you all. Ellis and Winnie, mommy loves you so much. Daddy, Kyle, I love you so much. <laughs> You've given me my dream life. Ditto. I don't think this is it, but just in case, thank you. You'll be okay. <laughs> and look how good my face is looking. It's clearing up. Yeah, I'm happy it's healing. We'll see after this infusion what it looks like. <laughs> Tomorrow. Bam! Sorry for being dark and emotional. I'm just trying to be honest with where our minds are at. And my poor sweet honey crying to me last night saying he thought I was going to die today. <sighs> or afraid I was going to die today. You know, I felt really bad for him, and I know the feeling.
Yeah. Don't worry. You okay? Any other things you want to tell your therapist? <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna open up to her this week. Do you want to say anything to her right now? No, I think so. We're here. These are called facial tissues. <laughs> you use them oh. to cry, to blow your nose. Apparently spit in. We'll be okay. You okay? Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. We can do this. Pray, 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 pray. Please, 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 please. We'll say a prayer before we go in. All right, let's go. I've got my <laughs> port hooked up. Ready to go. And by the way, we tested for COVID just to be safe and it was negative, so it's just a cold. Ellis, I saw this parrot artwork at City of Hope and I wanted to show you because you love parrots. Isn't it beautiful, son? And Winnie, look at this beautiful unicorn. I thought you would like this too. Isn't it beautiful, Winnie? I'm in a wheelchair. I think I'm in the last patient. Yep. Is that right? There's nobody else here. So I have my mask down because no one's here. Uh, we did it. We did it. You guys, I did it. I completed it and I'm alive. Yay. I'm so truly grateful. I'm still in misery though. You know, this medication is known to be brutal during the infusion. I've never experienced any of these medications to be so brutal during the infusion, more so after. This is both. So Kyle's gonna take it away. 
mm. with the talking because I'm pretty miserable. So we were uh, there for a while because, like I think we said, I don't know if we discussed it, but her uh, doctor wanted to go forward with treatment today, um, even though it was rough, you know, last time. I it ended up getting more last time than we realized to where it was enough to count as the whole first dose. Yeah, so you so technically... So then today was my second dose. Yeah, so he was, he wanted to go forward with it. He thinks it's the best option we have right now. He said he's got some other things in the background too if this doesn't work um, or if you didn't make it through today, but you did. Um, <clears throat> so he approved to go forward. They ordered it to be at an <coughs> extremely slow pace, uh, a slow drip, so that way it would be less harsh on her body. So we, Which it was. Yeah, so we were there a long time, but rightfully so. I didn't so. have the bad reactions. Sorry, I'm interrupting. That's okay. Um, like last time, I didn't have trouble breathing. They gave me the oxygen as a precautionary thing, and I did have to stop once. Was it just once? Yeah. Because I had extreme chills or... The rigors. Never heard of yeah, that before. Yeah, so I was like shaking. Extreme shaking. Extreme chills. It started out, she said, I'm cold. And then she put herself under the blanket, but she does it all the time. So I was like laughing like, oh. And then all of a sudden, it was like the most extreme as if she was in the Arctic. Shivering, shaking. So I called the nurse. She ran over and then had another nurse run over. And, they gave um, me heating pads. Warmed you Bundled up. me up and gave me a medication. Yeah. That got rid of them pretty quickly. That was... So that was nice. And then they gave you about an hour break to recoup. You got to a very comfortable place again. They were in touch with your doctor the entire day. Your, your, you know, our doctor was constantly going back and forth with us and the nurse to where we felt very in good communication and very safe. And he said, if Jenny feels okay and you guys feel okay, I'd like to continue going because we got about, you know certain amount left let's go so we went forward with it and the only real side effect from that point on was pain so it seems like this targeted therapy from what we're seeing like goes to the area where the cancer is and like attacks it that's what it feels like during the infusion and the nurse said that she's had other patients who've had targeted therapy say that um, because the pain's pretty bad um, and we've talked to pain management. He's I'm on pain pain regimen. They're changing it to, Today he changed it to a higher yep. situation. They gave me IV pain meds yep. during the infusion It's just <clears throat> today Today what's so bad is it feels like that What's it called pleura? Mm -hmm. And it's that pain that nothing can seem to touch and it did touch it a little bit, the IV pain meds they gave me, but only a little bit. I would try a little um, ibuprofen if you're feeling up Whatever, to it. Whatever, yeah. Um, so we got through the infusion. It took such a long time. The pain got worse at the end, but Jenny made it through. We're constantly texting your sister, cousin, um, your best friend, because everyone was worried. We were all worried about today. And Jenny made it. So the most important thing is that you made it. You're alive. You're okay. You are in rough shape, but you're okay. You're in pain, but you're okay. And um, we we move on. So her doctor said to keep in contact with us um, the next couple days. Make sure she's okay. And if anything happens, to let him know. Um, we had the most caring, nice nurse ever who took care of Jenny the whole time and was constantly checking on her, took her vitals like a million times. She felt our nervousness and so she kind of was trying to do everything under the sun to keep us feeling. And she had great ideas to contribute to the infusions to where it goes better next time. <clears throat> yep. She read literature on the drug before she administered it to Jenny but while we were waiting for it and found some really interesting facts out and was sharing it with us. It was just, she was really nice. As they all are here. They all are. But she was so caring and it made it that much better. Mm -hmm. um, 
I think we were the last ones in there. We were the last ones in that chemo ward. And um, as you guys saw, we, we wheeled Jenny out to the car. And now we're headed home late night. Yeah. So it was successful. We did it. I know Thank that. Thank you for the prayers. Yeah. And the positive thoughts. Hmm. Should I know that? Um, I don't remember what I was going to say. That's okay. But I'm so proud of you. You did it. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, let's just keep going in the right direction. Please, please pray for my pain to get better and my side effects from treatment to not be as bad this time. It would mean so much to me. My pain's so bad. I need prayers for my pain to go away or to get better. And we decided, and we kind of shared this with your doctor beforehand, that we want to kind of start keeping track of like, today, what was my quality of life? My team brought it up. Yeah. My team said this one seems really brutal on you. So we need to keep track of how it is. Cause they, for your quality of life. they were not okay with what kind of transpired last week as far as your quality of life. So I'm they were keep, truly saddened by it. So. I'm going to keep a journal of <coughs> today's quality of life was blank because tomorrow's quality of life is blank because, and then I guess that's part of if the treatment works, like it's part, part of the consideration. Mm -hmm. You can't just be, I don't know, in your deathbed every day and count it as a success. They don't count that as a success. No. If there's another one out there. It's a balance. That can give me more peace of mind or peace. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and kill the cancer, keep it stable. Yep. So we're going to head out of here. It's been a long day. And thank you for all the prayers. Thank you for all the positive thoughts. Thank you. I'm proud of you, Jen. You did it. I love you. Thanks for being there by my side. Yep. You took care of me as always. Yep. That's what I do. You're my man. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful for you. Grateful sorry for Sorry that you have to go through this. I'm sorry that you have to see it. Deal with it. Did it, babe. I'm sorry so you have to sorry. go through this. But you did it. Yay. Let's go home in the comfort of your own area. Get you some heating pads. Get you comfy. Sounds Nice. Try to sleep. Yeah, get, right. Get some pain meds in you. Yeah. All right. All right. I love you guys. I appreciate you all. Have a good day. I'll see you soon. Bye. I'm back home. I have some lidocaine patches on to hopefully help with the pain. I feel like absolute garbage. This medication so tough it's so bad man I'm really sad I'm proud of myself for getting through it I'm so proud of myself I'm so grateful to be alive thank you God but I'm just in so much misery it's so bad please please pray that the pain gets better or send positive thoughts please 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 and yes, I have a pain regimen that I follow. Yes, it was upped as of today. They increased some doses and they gave me extra IV meds. It's just the number one side effect of this treatment is pain. And I can tell you guys that's very accurate. How are you feeling? I feel terrible. The pain is so bad. It feels like when I was in the ETC with pain. After, after the my thoracic After my fluid was drained. Yeah. It's so bad. Nothing will help. I've taken Tylenol. Um, Dilaudid and ibuprofen. I have a heating pad on. I took lidocaine patches. Lidocaine patches on. I took the IV bent dilated at the hospital and it helped a little bit, but it only brought it down a little bit. Nothing can bring it down like fully. 
I'm just in misery. It feels like torture. I don't think I'll be able to sleep at all tonight because there's no possible way for me to reach a comfortable position in this pain. I was just telling Jen that um, I'm really frustrated at this drug oh. and it's really hurting her and oh. so I don't like it and anything that hurts her I want to get rid of it oh. and so I want to be done but I know I'm, I'm just so making... Sorry, baby. No. I know I'm just making rash decisions because I'm seeing you in so much pain. Maybe it'll be better tomorrow. Yeah. But right now I'm literally despising it. What yeah. you're going through. It makes it's me... It's pretty hard. Jenny was saying stuff in the car like releasing her frustrations out loud. And now I think I'm doing it. Because it's just so hard to watch her in pain. But... Yeah. It's okay. I just think this is really, really, really hard. That was a shot of how Jenny is able to find a little bit of comfort. Since the last you saw, the pain is just kind of a steady. So we've called all the people. We've reached out to everyone on her team and the emergency department at her hospital. We've got um, a plan. Um, so we're going to I'm gonna set an alarm on my phone for every increment that she can possibly take her pain meds at home. She has an increased pain med that she's gonna take starting at five or six a.m. in the morning as a part of her new regimen that we got yesterday. And we're just gonna have to piggyback until tomorrow and then get a hold of her team first thing in the morning and find out what, what they want us to do. If she needs to um, come in to be evaluated which I would probably guess they're gonna to want to see her um, or write it out or whatever but the loud, noises are oxygen. the loud noises are oxygen that seems to be helping a little bit she has it hooked up um, we did some ice packs normally we do heat like always heating pads and stuff that wasn't really touching her pain so her sister suggested ice we tried that and it's helping a little bit and then the only comfortable position that you saw is she's kind of on the floor on our kid's beanbag chair, lean forward onto a pillow. And she's the coziest she's been in the last couple hours. So we're gonna try to do that. I'm gonna set alarms, give her the pain meds every couple hours, hopefully get through the night. Cancer sucks. Hello everyone, it is the next morning and I am feeling so much better. Sorry for last night ending in a crazy way. Um, we got back from treatment and my pain started to increase rapidly. I reached I think a 10 out of 10 in pain and thank goodness the kids were having a sleepover at my sister's house so I didn't have to be careful with it. I was able to grunt and yell and feel the feelings. Poor Kyle had to see it. And he was panicking and scared, calling my sister and best friend and they were all telling me to go to the ER. And I was stubborn and didn't want to go to the ER. It was because the pain I was feeling was the pain that I get after the pleural effusion is drained. So, I know not much touches it. It's more so a time thing. And I was thinking it's kind of a good thing because it must mean treatment is killing that fluid fast. And so if I can get through this pain episode of, let's just call it thoracentesis pain, even though I didn't have one, then we'll be okay. And Ashley and Kyle and Mel are just protective and don't want to see me this way. But I found the way I could convince them to let me stay home was I found a spot on the floor. I sat on the floor 
with my butt on the edge of the bean bag, the kid's bean bag. And I leaned forward onto pillows. And so when I'm feeling that pain, it's like my body doesn't want to feel any touch, almost like I can't lean against anything. So my torso was floating and I was leaning onto the pillows with my arms and my head. And I was able to start finding some comfort. And then my sister suggested ice packs and I don't usually do ice packs very often because I see my body responds well to heat but the heat wasn't working so we got some ice packs and strapped them on my chest Kyle put an ice pack somewhere else I don't know if he did it on my back or what but I was loaded with ice packs and it was actually helping relieve some pain so then them seeing me in this comfortable position, as comfortable as I could get. And then having the ice packs start to help, they were okay with me waiting for the ER. I told them if I still feel this way in the morning, I'll go straight in, I'll call my team and we'll go straight in. But I think it's just a matter of time. I just need to get through this and I'll be okay. So I ended up falling asleep in that position. I asked Kyle to come lay next to me he was on the couch and he was petting my back the whole time while I fell asleep. And then I woke up at, I think, 5.15 in the morning, feeling like my normal self with my normal cancer pains. Gosh, were my normal cancer pains appreciated at that time. And um, I took a picture of us because it looked cute seeing how he took care of me in the night and humored me sleeping on the floor, leaning onto the couch. I was glad that he could respect my wishes, even though I'm sure a lot of people would have said no, go to the ER. I was glad that he respected my wishes. And then I was able to go sit on the recliner after taking our cute picture. And on the recliner, I fell asleep. I put on his cozy sweater for comfort and because I was a little cold and I fell asleep. And then when he woke up, he gave me my new pain medication dose. <clears throat> so I have a new dose, a double dose of my everyday morning pain medicine and hopefully that will help. That was in the works of getting changed yesterday as we spoke with my team. And so <clears throat> hopefully that will help with this new painful treatment. Um, I have a smoothie. Kyle got me for breakfast. Delicious. And the kids are out on a walk with Kyle so that I could talk to you guys because sometimes it's hard for me to talk over them. They're so loud and cute. And my voice can't <clears throat> project very well and you hear I'm clearing my throat so often so it's easier just to film when I'm home alone. Um, I didn't have to go to the hospital today to get treatment. I don't know if we explained it but my first dose we got in more than I thought, more than I realized to where it counted as the first dose and then the second dose was um, completed. Yay, I did it and I'm alive, I'm so grateful. And so the next dose will just not be today. Today I have the day off, which is so nice. I'm so grateful to be able to just rest at home. And we will go again next week, I think, for my third infusion. And we'll see how it goes then. I'll be on here in the meantime, I'm sure. But it's nice that I get a little bit of a break. So I'm going to try to rest as much as I can today. And enjoy not being at the hospital. No offense, hospital. I love you. 
but it's nice to be home. I want to say thank you to everyone who took care of me. Everyone at the hospital was so great. Everyone went above and beyond for me and it was so appreciated. Thank you to my husband, my family, my best friend, everyone. My cousins, I came home to more sweetness. I had a new balloon and a big card that I have not yet looked at because I was in so much pain when I got home. My sister and Brad for watching my kids. That was really greatly appreciated. And my dad watched Winnie for part of the day, so that too. Thank you guys all for everything. Thank you for your love and support. I will see you guys soon. Thanks for the prayers too, and positive thoughts, it means so much. I love you for the second outro. Bye.